name is Artastic, and in this video, art lesson tutorial, we're going to be making a lovely Snowy Kitty artwork that uses just one art making medium, and that is soft pastel. Sometimes it's called chalk pastel because it's like a chalky kind of feel, but often it's called soft pastel, and we're going to explore using that to create this lovely snowy kitten artwork. So grab a choice background paper, whatever kind of color you want to use for your winter scene. That's up to you, my lovely friend and also your soft pastels, and that's it, and let's make some art! All right, so we're gonna be using a piece of construction paper, or thicker paper, um, something that is a cool color that makes you think of winter, because we're going to be creating some lovely snow kitties, little cats in the snow, and we're gonna be using some soft pastels. So these are soft pastels, they kind of feel like chalk. So we're gonna be using those to create our artwork. So first we're gonna grab a blue, and we're gonna sketch out our art, and then we're gonna fill it in. So we're gonna begin with some, a little snow pile that's gonna sit on our cat's head. So we're gonna draw with wavy lines, a little snow pile. And we're also gonna draw some snow along the bottom. So I'm just gonna add that there. Now from the snow pile, we're gonna draw two, line, two little ears. So we're gonna go out and down, almost like little triangles. Bring the line down, in and up to the other side. And then we're gonna draw two lines down and connect to the snow on the ground. Anytime I'm going too fast or you want me to re-show you how to do something, just hit pause or you can hit rewind and rewatch a clip as many times as you want to get the steps. You can also have a little tail peeking out from behind the kitty in the snow. We're gonna draw our legs hiding behind the snow. So we'll draw two lines down on either side. We're gonna draw a placer for the nose. So I'm gonna draw a little upside down triangle, a circle on either side. I'm not gonna do the details yet. And just a place where the cheeks will be and little triangles in the ears. Those are very rough right now. We're gonna fill them in in a little bit. All right, grab a cat color and you can make your kitty whatever color you want. I'm gonna do a gray cat. And we're gonna go ahead and lightly color in the body and we're going to just color around the other details. And don't worry about if it's perfect because we can blend and move our soft pastel around as we go. Okay, so we're just slightly coloring. Don't need to make sure that you get every single space because we're going to blend it in a second. Okay. So it looks kind of messy now, but we're gonna take our fingers and we're just gonna Smooth our kitty cat, just like that. And that's gonna be a nice, good base layer to work with. Okay, if you have any dust, don't blow it, just tap it down. Or I like to tap it also onto some scrap paper so I don't get dust all over. Okay. Next, we're gonna do the snow. So I'm gonna grab white. We're also gonna do any other little highlighting details. And now we're gonna go over the snow tuff on the head. Like that. As well, we can use it in the ground and I can 
hold my pastel on its side. And you might even want to add some snowflakes falling in the background. Don't worry about if it's not smooth, we're gonna smooth it with our fingers in a bit. We can also add some highlights around Cat's head and body. And then we're gonna blend it around. So we're gonna go over the snowflakes and you can see it's gonna turn into like a little nice glow. And the snow on the head. And then I like to blend the highlights into my cat color. So it becomes part of the cat. So now instead of it being white on my cat, it's gonna be a nice light gray or whatever color you want. It's gonna create a value or a highlight. Perfect. Okay, so we got another color on there. Next, I'm going to color in some of the other details. So I'm gonna color in the ears with a little bit of pink and the nose. You can make your cat those details, other details, whatever color you want, and just give them a light blend. We don't want them to be too bright. I'm also gonna give my cat some cheeks. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a cream color and just Add those on. Then I'll blend that color into my base. That way it's not so bright. And finally, I'm gonna get out my black. So I'm going to use black very last because we don't, we can't blend this all over the place because it's very powerful. Once I put black on it, it will cover up everything. So we're not going to blend this. We're just going to use it to outline and I'm not going to smooth it out. I'm just going to go around and trace my details. And if I had done this first, I would have black everywhere. It's very hard to get rid of or cover up. It's very strong. So we wanna make sure we use it very last for that reason. And then I'm gonna go on the eyes and I'm gonna color them in. I'm just gonna leave a little, little spot, the paper color for now. I'm gonna add a little bit of white at the very end there. I'm gonna give my cat some stripes. Maybe I'll add some furry lines for the body so it looks fuzzy instead of smooth. And you can add some stripes on the tail. some details in the snow that it's playing in. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and move the black around the eyes and you can see how strong it is. And be very, very careful, just like that. I'm gonna grab that white because we gotta make this pop now. And our last detail is gonna be adding white in the eyes, just in that blank area, just like that. And once you're done, you're gonna take your kitty and dust it off in a garbage can, just by tapping. That way our dust is not anywhere on our art making surface. And once you're done, your lovely snow kitty, created using soft pastels, is done. Hi there, thank you so much for watching the art lesson. Now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore Ms. Artastic art lessons.
So this is another way you can explore Artastic lessons. So one, make sure that you go and find me on Instagram and TikTok. I am artastic.kids and please follow me, check it out. You'll find lots of different ways to grab art lessons and you'll also find out when new art lessons are dropped to YouTube and other places such as the blog. Next, you can go to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. Make sure that you become a subscriber because my friend, this is where I post a ton of weekly art drawing tutorials or art lessons for you to explore for free at home or in a classroom. And finally, make sure you go to artastickids.com. This is an essential place to go if you are someone if you're a kid looking to create art or if you're a homeschool parent or if you're just a parent or guardian looking to find art lessons for your kids to allow them to become creative, to prevent the whole let's get started um, at the kitchen table and they are not really wanting to create with their parent, don't worry because I will guide them through the art lessons and I will prevent them from getting stuck at the blank page. I know that is a huge struggle. So check it out, artastickids.com. There you'll find a blog full of free different art lessons, art lesson activity ideas, seasonal art ideas, and so much more, as well as my membership, which is my collection of art lessons online. It is an online streaming art lesson platform for families, homeschool, or classrooms, and you will be able to allow your child to um, stimulate their creative thinking and critical thinking skills, build on their motor skills, as well as they get to enjoy five new art lessons added every single month to the membership every single month. It is a growing art resource library. So you'll get hundreds of art lessons and then every single month, five new ones are added. And it, there are lots of sneak peek preview videos. So make sure you go to artastickids.com, hit the get started button, and I will see you in the membership enjoying new art lessons added every single month.